Hello friends. In this video, I am going to demonstrate about the Java Compute Node. So here we are taking one example of the XML and our task is to read this XML in the Java Compute Node and we will pass only the name as an XML. Flow is very simple. It's a MQ input. MQ output and Java compute node. Java compute node is present inside the transformation palette. And uh, if we talk about uh, uh, how to read the XML tree structure or logical tree structure, how to read in the Java compute node. So there is a one mapping is there is equivalent Java compute nodes. Here we can see Java accessor MB message assembly and e SQL. If we are reading the in SQL input root so in the Java compute node, it is complete like get message dot get root element. In body is like get message dot get root element dot get last child means input root dot XML and SC. We'll read like this. Local environment will read like this uh, get local environment dot get root element and environment get global environment dot get root element and exception list will read like uh, get exception list dot get root element it is uh, uh, we will use the java compute node based on the our requirements lot of uh, uh, functionality is not uh, 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 not uh, available in the eSQL like uh, global cache Global cache we cannot implement in the eSQL code. We need to write the Java code for that. So for using the Java compute node, we should have a basic knowledge of the Java. And if we'll go inside the Java compute node, we have written the code only in this line. That's it. Rest of the code is uh, predefined uh, uh, by the uh, this. Uh, it is already available in the Java Compute Node. And here we can see in assembly. In assembly is the starting point of reading the tree structure. In assembly dot get message. So this is nothing but input root it will go here and we can see this is the input root and in message here we are reading in our code in message dot get root element means this is nothing but complete input root get message dot get root element get message is available here in the assembly in assembly dot get message dot get root element means input root and after that we are reading the xml file like get first element by path dot xml nsc dot record dot emp according to our xml data dot xml nsc dot record dot emp uh, here we have use for the testing purpose so we can uh, remove it out message here we can see 
whatever the in message data is there we are same data we are propagating to the as a output message and we are using as a out assembly we are just taking this out message into the out assembly in assembly and out message and we are using out assembly here out terminal this is the terminal dot propagate out assembly out assembly will contain the output message and what uh, output message which is already copied of the input message here we are just uh, creating our own xml structure in the java compute node so let's read like that output message dot get root element means it is output root dot get last child means output root dot xml nsc dot get last child means record so we are just removing the records from the tree structure so from the output root this complete xml will be removed now we have a pattern like uh, output root dot xml nsc that's it now we have to build our own xml data so output root dot get root element dot get last child this is nothing but output root dot xml nsc now we are creating one element like name create element as last child mb element it is a type name value this is the type is the name and the value is we are reading by path emp here mb message we are taking emp dot get first element by path name so in this xml we are just reading only name and we are sending as an output dot get value as a history let's execute this we will read exml flow is triggered so our xml is input root dot xml nsc dot record dot employee employee id name department if we'll go inside so we will read like that means uh, we can assume like uh, dot uh, get message dot get root element this one dot get last child means xml nsc dot get last child means record dot delete means we are re removing the records in the output message so just go inside if you want to uh, uh, go one line by line so we'll just use step over f6 emp mb element just go inside that now we are creating the new element like name as an xml we can see here xml nsc name so that's all about uh, java compute node please like our techmark channel and click on the bell icon thank you